hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so uh, here we have x over 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here first we need to move uh, the terms uh, uh, we can apply the exponent 6 on both of these values and it will be written as x to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6 and it is equals to 2 to the power of 6 and now here uh, in the next step uh, we uh, need to move this term 2 to the power of 6 to the right hand side so that when you move this term here it will be written as x to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 and now you see here both of these values have same exponent uh, so that we combine the exponents in the right hand side so it will be written as x to the power of 6 is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 and its exponent is 6 and this is equals to 4 to the power of 6 and now here in the next step you see here we move the term 4 to the power of 6 in the left hand side and it will be written as x to the power of 6 minus 4 to the power of 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we rewrite uh, this equation as in this form so we can write this term as uh, x squared and its uh, uh, x cubed and its whole square minus we write this term as 4 cubed and its whole square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we apply the nice algebraic formula so according to this formula we write these terms as uh, x cubed minus 4 cubed multiplied by x cubed plus 4 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x cubed minus 4 cubed equals to 0 and the second case is we write x cubed plus 4 cubed equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two so now first we focus on equation number one so that uh, from equation number one we have here we can apply this nice formula in equation number one you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so we apply this nice formula in the uh, equation number one so after applying this formula our equation number one is written as first you have a minus b so the value of a is x minus b is 4 into a square here our a is x square plus a b so a is x and b is 4 plus b square so b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we uh, just divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0 the second case is we write x square plus 4 x plus 16 equals to 0 and now from this case we easily get the value of x is equals to 4 so this is the our first real solution of the given problem and now in order to find the other solution we need to solve this quadratic equation so for this uh, here we need to write the coefficients of this equation because we can apply here the quadratic formula so the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we put the values of uh, a b and c here so uh, the value of b is 4 when we put it here it will become minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus 
square root of 4 square and 4 square equals to 16 minus this is 4 times of 16 divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now here we have our x is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus here you see that inside the square root term we have 16 with a common term so that when we take common 16 uh, so we will get here uh, in this way uh, 16 into 1 minus 4 and its whole square whole square root and it is divided by 2 and when we can expand the square root on here it will be written as minus 4 plus minus we know that square root of 16 equals to 4 and 1 minus 4 equals to square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now we break this fraction and it will be written as x is equals to minus 4 over 2 plus minus 4 times of this is square root of 3 and we know that uh, if negative sign appears inside the square root it will become iota and it is divided by 2. So we cancelled these terms after cancellation of terms we will get here x is equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 times of a square root of 3 iota so this is 2 times of 2 is 4 this is also 2 times of 2 is 4 so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation which we get here from equation number one and now here in the next step we need to focus on equation number two here so that uh, in equation number two first we copy down equation number two here it is x cubed plus 4 cubed equals to 0 so here we can apply another cubic formula you know about that a cubed plus b cubed equals to uh, a plus b times of uh, a square minus a b plus b square and this whole equation equal to zero and here we need uh, more simplifications uh, and now you see here uh, we first divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 4 equals to 0 the second case is we write x square minus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of x is equals to minus 4 so this is the fourth root of the given equation this is the fourth root of the given equation now in order to find the last two roots we need to solve this quadratic equation so here we again apply the quadratic formula for this we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula and now we put the values of uh, a b and c here and it will becomes x is equals to minus b the value of b is minus 4 it will becomes minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 plus minus square root of this is minus 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 16 divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. And now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as 4 plus minus. So here when you take common 16 from here and we take the square root it will becomes 4 into a square root of 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3. We can do this step in the previous case as well. So I hope so you understand this step. Uh, and now you have this is 4 plus minus 4 times of minus square root of 3 divided by 2. So uh, here uh, we can break this fraction and it will be written as 4 over 2 plus minus 4 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and we will get here x is equals to 2 plus minus 2 times of a square root of 3 iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.